Welcome to my hike across Switzerland on the Swiss Panoramic Trail. We just got uh, yelled at by a cow. Great view for a farm. Don't let me undersell the Alps here. Good afternoon and welcome to Santis. This is the Alpine Panorama Trail number three, segment four. And we are at the base of Santis. You can see the cable car going up behind me and you can see the cable station at the top. We're down in Maglis Alp, which is where stage three ends and stage four begins. If you remember from yesterday or a week ago, whenever the film comes out, there was snow on the ground. I was very tired. It was the end of a long hike. Section three It's now, I don't know, five months later. It's the middle of August. It's high noon right now. Uh, so this is, this is summer hiking. And uh, obviously the facility is uh, very full. Everybody's here. Borders are open, vaccinated people can travel. So tour buses are back uh, and full, the buses are full, the trains are full, and um, this feels more like the way Switzerland uh, is normally. But look at this view, holy cow. Now, um, in my notes, I talk about this being a great place to spend the night um, between section three and section four. It's two and a half hours by train back to Zurich. So when you come off of section three, uh, um, section four is pretty short, it's only 12 kilometers. This is a great morning to take the tram up, spend the night here at the hotel. I believe, I'm not sure if the hotel, if there's one up at the top as well, uh, but take the tram up, spend your morning up there looking around. You can see six different countries from the top up there. Uh, of course, Switzerland. Liechtenstein is just behind here, Austria, Germany, um, and then to round out the, that's four, to round out the other six, I believe you could see, I mean you'd have to be able to see Italy, which is straight down south, and then France, and I don't know which part of France, if you were looking down the foothills of the Alps, which is along trail number three, to see Mont Blanc, the French peak of Mont Blanc or if you can see France uh, up toward the Basel area. So I don't know how they get to that sixth country but somehow they get to the sixth country. Uh, and that can be seen from up there. It's also this great view of where we're hiking in the uh, entirety of, of route number three, not the entirety but certainly the, the northern section of route number three. Uh, today we're going to go up over a pass we're going to end up in stein we're going to have the great view of the the teeth mountains above uh valenze um i've got some cheeses that are special for today one of which this this building here I'll come on down here this building in front of me is a quesarai this is uh they're making cheese right here Maglis Alp Quesa. You can buy some of the gift store, um, but you definitely can buy a nice variety here at the Quesa I. If they happen to be closed, go to the gift store. Uh, so I have a mild and I have a spicy version of that. Today we're going to jump into the spicy. Um, then I also picked up yesterday at my cheese, favorite cheesemonger in Zurich at the uh, viaduct. Um, I picked up a very spicy Appenzell and a Alp Quesa from the Glarus region. I forget which peak it is, but it is behind, and this is what got me started, behind these Teeth Mountains. Let's see if we can see some behind the barns here. Uh, but no, I can't. But when we get over here, you can just sort of just barely check out one of them. Um, so you go the, the Teeth Mountains, as I call them. I'm sure other people do, too. Uh, then you got the Valenze. Uh, and then behind that we have where uh, I've gone skiing and bobsledding. Um, 
and that's the glarus region behind that so i've got some cheese so oppenzell magnus alp and glarus alp just to compare uh, that's going to be later on today i'm pretty well prepared uh, since and here comes a cable car since the last trip here since hiking in switzerland uh you know i'm back in the states for a couple of months and uh, i was able to do the colorado trail uh, at least a week there which is uh, already on film and you can catch that uh, by clicking over to those videos so we can get started it's about a four hour hike as i mentioned it's 12 kilometers um, we're at a pretty large altitude already um, let's just see what my watch says i have not reconciled but we're about 4500 feet and you can definitely tell we're up high uh, when you take the bus here but if you stay at the hotel which i recommend to save your two and a half hour back and two and a half hour here um, you also have a cost offset to stay at the hotel so there's some incentive there because it costs money of course to take the trains and the buses but uh shoot i forgot what i was saying um oh altitudes um, so we're only going to have about 500 meters up and 1,000 meters down because uh, we are at a uh, decent altitude already. And uh, that up there is 1,000 meters more. Yeah, I think that makes sense. 1,000 meters more up there. Uh, again, highly recommend it. And let's get this hike underway. Welcome. Panoramic Trail. Make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of these videos as I make my way through the rest of Switzerland.